Felix Octavius Carr Darley. He was born in Philadelphia in 1822. He studied on his own by looking at old master prints and books of theatrical costumes. He was probably the most popular mid-19th century illustrator, and primarily it was because he was able to capture expressions of the author's words. His illustrations were able to uh, express mood, content, meaning in ways that other illustrators were not able to do. Critics referred to his magic pencil and his ability to bring to life characters from the, uh, the pages of Nathaniel Hawthorne and Washington Irving, Charles Dickens, and that's really where he uh, developed his reputation. Darley was probably the most prolific artist who was hired to illustrate uh, banknote engravings. At the time, there were no federal laws governing currency, so each bank developed their own currency. There were engraving companies that then went and hired artists to illustrate the banknotes, and Darley was, was the most popular. Late in his career, he did these illustrations of, of Shakespeare's plays, and that sort of brought full circle his, um, his, his experience as a child and into adulthood, um, being around a ther theatrical family. It really represents kind of the, the climax of his career. After Darley went to New York, in 1859 he married and came back to this region, settling in Claymont, Delaware with his wife. His two sisters lived there, and other extended family would come and go. So one of the reasons we did the exhibition was sort of to bring his name back to the public. The mid-19th century illustrators were more or less um, left behind uh, in the wake of Pyle and N.C. Wyeth and, and new technologies in print and publications. So that was one of the reasons he's been forgotten. I think that the primary thing that we want people to take away is just opening their eyes to illustration before 1880 and this sort of enhances our uh, story of American illustration by bringing in Darley, uh, who was lesser known than Pyle and Nancy Wyeth and the, the tradition that followed them in the Brandywine Valley.